Hi. In this video tutorial, we continue the photogrammetric processing for GIS 615 lab exercise, Relative Orientation. Relative orientation is performed to create a true three-dimensional stereo model of the overlapped area between two images. The creation of the three-dimensional stereo model requires the exact relative angular orientation between two photographs used at the instant they were exposed during a photographic mission. In other words, the relative orientation describes the translation and rotation of one image with respect to its stereo partner in a common local model coordinate system. The learning objectives of this tutorial are to locate the GCP on the image, to perform the automatic and manual tie point measurement, and to analyze the orientation report. To start the orientation process, open the previous project file. You may copy the project file for backup. You may update the project description to track your exercise progress. Use the project state windows to perform the process. Click the GCP list icon to open the triangulation points window. The GCP information can be manually entered, or by import the GCP file externally. To import the GCP file, click import icon and locate the file at your directory. You need to ensure all the parameter setting are correct especially the coordinate order. Then click Apply. Next step is to mark the GCP points into photographs. First, highlight one of the images, then activate the point measurement module through open the selected image for measurement. Refer to the supplied GCP list document to assist locate the GCP point on the images. Once the GCP point identified on the image, then mark the location using the move, add measurement into marker position icon. The GCP number then appeared next to the cross mark. In this stage, the GCP number is highlighted with black color, indicates the GCP is marked at a single image. Thus, the same GCP point needs to be marked at the neighbor image. Once the same GCP marked at two images, the GCP number then highlighted with yellow color. Repeat the process for the rest of GCPs at all available images.
After completed marking all the GCP on the images, then click Apply and OK to exit the point measurement module. Next, we need to add tie points to connect the images by performing automatic tie point measurement. Choose arrow correlator type. You may use the default parameters in the automatic tie point measurement window. Or you may want to edit some parameters such as increase the correlation threshold to 95%. Make sure select pixel for the tie point measurement operation. Then click the start button. Wait for the software processes the tie point measurement. Immediately a report of relative orientation operation is shown after the tie point measurement process completed. Set the parameters of the report by clicking the third box button. In the parameters set, we need to have half pixel vertical parallax among stereo pairs. For the triplets residual, you may use the default value where the planimetric is 1 pixel, and for the height is 2 pixels. You may analyze the report for quality control such as accuracy of the tie point. In this exercise, we need to make sure all the tie points uniformly distributed. For example, in the strip 1, the second stereo pair has non-uniform tie point distribution. Click the stereo pair link to analyze the tie point distribution. Go to the bottom of the report and check the point distribution on each zone. By rule of thumb, at least two tie points need to be marked at each zone. However, in this exercise, we distributed all the zone evenly. Check the average number of tie points in each zone. In this case, the number is 7 or 8. Therefore, we need to add another 4 points in zone 1, and 6 points in zone 2. Click the edit button to add more tie points manually. Go to Zone 2, and identify any features suitable for tie point. Use Add Point function to add new tie point. The same point also needs to be marked at the right image. Then find another possible feature to be marked as a tie point. Once completed, refresh the report and analyze the tie point error. The large tie point residual is highlighted with red color. Edit the point which has a large error. The correction considered completed when all the tie point uniformly distributed on each strip. For inter-strip, it is not required to have uniform tie point distribution. That's all for this tutorial. The orientation process still not completed yet until we performed the bundle adjustment, which we'll explain in the next video. To sum up, this video tutorial explains how to locate the GCP on the image. Perform the automatic and manual tie point for relative orientation solution. And analyze the orientation report. Enjoy your processing exercise. Good luck and goodbye.